it's well with you. Lord bless you. Welcome back to church. Now, uh, let me use this to remind you. Just hold it for me. I will use this to remind you in case you are, your saliva is uh, trying to swallow something. Sorry. This is donut, you know. Look at how beautiful it is. Now, if you look at this front uh, uh, place, it's not different from pop off. Abi? Or uh, uh, buns. Or bread. But why did they put this here to make it? Mrs. Kisura is laughing like, ah, I you see me. <laughs> because the way I turned it, the way she's smiling. <laughs> you know? Now, the reason why they did this is to make it more what? Attractive. Now, some will not stop there. Please open the sugar for me. Now, some will not stop there. They will go. I'm, I'm trying to bring back, you know, we started this teaching. This is the third Sunday. Now, I told you that when we talk about temptation, now, what did I call temptation? Enticing, seduction, luring, or inviting. Now, look at this. Some will now go to the point of doing this to their donuts. Please, you have not gotten my voice. No, put it down. Put it down. Just put, turn it the way I turned it. They'll put this on their donuts. You know? I don't know whether you've seen things like this. Yes. Yes. When, when we were younger, this was how donuts used to be. Now they sprinkle sugar. And it's not business season here. It's like management. They brought you into management world. But God will prosper you. In our days, I attended Command Children's School. They give us snacks every uh, day, Monday to Friday, you know, in those days. Monday, they give us cake. Tuesday, they give us donuts. Very big one. Wednesdays, they give us chin chin. Pl very plenty. They will lie on it. Thursdays, they give us yogurt. Then on Friday, they repeat the cake. Now, this how, now when you see donuts like this, now look up, everybody. Look up, everybody. Can you see? Now, when you see this in a show glass, hello, is it different from bread? Yes, now. When you see this in a show glass, is it different from bread? Yes. Is it different from cake? Yes. Is it different from um, a, a buns? Yes. I can't hear you. Is it different from pop puff? Yes. What makes it different? The sugar. Now, and what is the, the, the vision of those that are doing this? They are just to catch your attention. You know, the way Mrs. Christopher looked at it when I turned the, where there was, uh, is it ketchup we call this, or jam? And when, where there was jam, you know, that's how you look at it and ah, you just feel like, do not. Are you getting what I'm saying? So when you hear the word temptation, it is the devil trying to lure you. Now, why do you think that you get moved? You know, you 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 turn on you turn off uh, turn on your 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 phone. Uh, you go on internet. They want to advertise something, and they advertise with a naked woman. The devil is doing everything to make sin attractive. That's temptation. Temptation is when the devil is making sin so attractive in order to catch your attention. Did you get it? Now, and if eventually, if you now take a bite of this, you'll be shocked to see that it is the same flour of bread. It is the same flour of a uh, of a puff. It is the same flour of what? Of donuts. You now say, ah, you know, it's the same thing. I taught you that three Sundays ago, that any time the devil wants to get you to sin against God, he will brand sin in such a way that it will look catchy. So please be careful. Hallelujah. Thank you. We'll come back to it later. Thank you. Just put it on my table. Or else somebody will just carry it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Then don't forget, when we spoke, we spoke about, uh, we talked about, I think we stopped there in the first service, the first Sunday. Then we moved to the second Sunday. We said, let's look at uh, when you are tempted, uh, sorry, that it is important that you know that God is not the tempter. We saw that one too, you remember? I told you that God does not tempt his children with evil. No, 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 no. The Lord does not tempt 
the children of God with evil. I told you, I said, if, the de- if any negative thing happened to a Christian, it is from the devil. Praise the Lord. And I told you that the devil will always capitalize on three things. What's number one? If you allow sin. What's number two? If you are not watchful enough, if you are not careful, you are careless. The devil will capitalize on it. And number three, I said, if you are ignorant. You know, I almost lost my firstborn when she was, uh, how many years was, her that, was she that time? Three years old. She fell sick, you know. And at that time too, I had John this. I was fasting for, I finished uh, 60 days. Well, no, I finished 40 days. I wanted to enter another 40 days along the line. I, my liver started complaining. It showed on my eyes. I had John this. I was in the room. My wife was treating me at home. There was a doctor in our church that time, Dr. Molly. He was also treating me at home. Then my daughter was saying, in the middle of the night, Daddy, hold me. Daddy, hold me tight. Daddy, don't let me fall down. As she said that, I remember that a girl died in, on our street around that age. She too was saying, Daddy, hold me. Daddy, hold me tight. Don't let me fall down. Most, I, I stood up straight. I told my wife, it was around 1 a.m. in the middle of, uh, in the early morning. We drove straight to Onia and Son. As we got to Onia and Son, Onia and Son told us that this girl has gone. This girl has gone. Why is it now that you are coming? We, cannot, we don't have a bed for her. They referred us to UCH. My wife said, no. They referred us to Oluyoro. As we got to Oluyoro, Oluyoro Hospital, a doctor quickly attended to us. He said, can't you see that this girl is pale? That she will need blood. She will need blood. They quickly admitted that. They started, you know, before they could get the blood sample, the girl herself slept and dreamt that she saw Jesus. That Jesus we used to see in the film appeared to me and said, I will not die. And when he got to the morning, as they brought blood, one old doctor, he said that one used to come around for what round? Once a while. As he came to her, test her, he said, why did he recommend blood for this girl? This girl is okay. She doesn't need blood. In fact, she should be discharged today. Now, can you see that if I was not sensitive, hello, may the devil not succeed to get you. So if anything negative happened to a Christian, a, the Christian should always realize that it is not from God. I told us last week that today we are looking at this. Why then do some believers fall easily to temptation? Why do believers fall to temptation? Kilo de ti a shin shubu sinu onti ankeni temptation. What's temptation in Yoruba? It don't work. Hallelujah. Why do some believers fall easily to temptation? Now, we have a lot of things to study today. I want you to give me your ears, give me your heart, put your phone aside, and make sure you catch a message from God. Listen, the truth is clear here, clearly stated in our scriptural text, James chapter 1, verse 4. We'll read King James and we'll read NLT. King James first, NLT second. Let's go to James chapter 1 verse 14. James chapter 1 and verse 14. Let's have it on screen. James chapter 1 verse 14. This is our first scripture. Let's rise up to read together. Uh, Let's be on our feet in honor of God's word. Sorry for telling you to stand. Everybody rise in honor of God's word as we read together after the count of three. One, two, and let's go. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Read it again. It will assimilate. One, two, and let's go. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Please be seated. Show us the NLT Bible. Thank you. He said, temptation comes from our own desires which entices us and drag us away. Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. Now, what's the question we are answering? Why then do believers, some, some believers fall easily to temptation? Now, this is my answer. Hallelujah. Listen, hello. I have seen a lot of believers fall into temptation as if they were never in Christ before. I have seen it. Let me even share one or two with you. I've seen some good Christians, firebrand, you know, 
we used to have a brother in our church. We got born again. You know, is it almost the same time? He was a firebrand brand like me, evangelist. He's now, in, he's now a journalist. You know, he, went, he was telling me how he fell. He went for evangelism. And uh, he said he wants to go and convert his old girlfriend. That this person, this girl was my girlfriend before, and I want to let her be born again. So he went to the girlfriend's house alone. I won't mention his name. He might be watching me. And as he entered the house, he said, the girl said, are you born again? The girl pulled off her clothes, you know, sat down in front of her. And sincerely speaking, our brother committed fornication. So he got there as a Christian. He left there as an unbeliever. It was that point he dropped his salvation. So many Christians have fallen to them. I will tell you why as we go on. This, I was here yesterday too. I and my wife were discussing. No, it was this morning. One of our leaders in, in our church here. That, ah, that this lady, who could ever believe she could backslide? Now, she, she's married to one of our leaders. And she too has fire in her bones. When it comes to evangelism, this sister was very, very good. But we noticed one thing in her. She had covetousness. Uluju Kokoro. Even as a born again Christian. If she see that anybody come to give me gift. And I'm praying for the person. She will go and look for gifts to want to give me. So that I can pray for her. The way I'm praying for her friend. She has, she's just so covetous. And do you know that it was that same covetousness that the devil used to bring. I will tell you why I'm telling you this as we go on. So it's a confirmation. I took my time to search from, uh, you know, from the point of the word of God and from personal experience and I discovered, listen, I discovered that the devil may likely succeed using temptation to bring a child of God down when he places his temptation around the area, hear me, that a person has not really allowed the Holy Spirit to work upon him or her. Please help me take that baby out. Hallelujah. Now listen. When the devil sets his temptation, let me read again because of those are right. Amen? 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 I took my time to search from the point of the word of God and I discovered that the devil may likely succeed using temptation to bring uh, a child of God down when he placed his temptation around the area that such a child of God has not really allowed the Holy Spirit to work upon him or her. Now, the devil will not tempt you in the area of your strength. Now, that's the summary of what I'm saying. When the devil wants to set temptation for you, he will set temptation for you in the areas of your life that you know you have not really submitted to God. Now, we all have areas of our lives that we have not totally submitted. You may, not, you may be thinking, ah, I'm born again 100%. Yes, you are born again. But you yourself know that there are some areas in your life that you know, you know, that you have not really allowed the Holy Spirit to take over. Now, and listen, the devil does not know that area. But you know how the devil will know? The devil will be watching you. Now, that's what James in the book of James 1.14 calls area of lust. Now, look at this. James chapter 1, verse 15. We we'll see both the King James and the NLT. James chapter 1, show us verse 15. James chapter 1 and verse 15. Instrumentalists, you don't have jotters. Temptation comes, look at this, from where? No, verse 15, from verse 15. Verse 15. We're thinking verse 14. Now, it says, these desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives back to death. Now, you know Bible now. You see that every battle that faced David, David defeated. Except the battle of Bathsheba. When the Philistines came like a flood, David brought them down. When it comes to fighting with sword, David had strength. Ulagarambe. When it comes to fighting with wisdom, Solomon had it. But when the devil now studied David's life, he discovered that David had a weakness for beautiful women. You know what he did? He set a trap for David in that area. A woman was bathing. When he was supposed to go to war, he was on the pinnacle of his uh, uh, palace. He was looking around and he saw the nakedness of the woman. Ah! He said, go and bring that woman. 
He didn't even consider that that woman was somebody's wife. Hello? No. Permit me to tell you, today, you know why the devil is bringing people down? He will study you to discover the areas of your life that you are yet to allow the Holy Ghost to help you. Some of you, you are still battling with anger. Some of you, you are still battling with stinginess. Some of you, you are battling with lust of the eyes. Some of you, you are battling with love for money. Some of you, you are battling, you know, with grudges. You know how to keep malice. The devil will not set temptation for you in your strong area. It's just like if I'm fasting now, the devil wants to set temptation. And he now says, maybe I get home and my wife is cooking. And you know what she's cooking? She's now cooking a kokore and put all the things. She knows that I will never fall to that temptation. Because anytime she cooks it, I see it as baby poo poo. Yeah, Ashka, I run. When I say, God forbid, she has begged me severally, honey, you will like it. God forbid that the way I, what I'm looking at, no, no, I will never. Did, are you getting what I'm saying? But let her, let, let me be fasting and I get, I'm killed, you know, and I'm coming home. She knows that I love fried rice or not, and in heaven. And let me be perceiving the odor of fried rice. Ah, that's why you must be careful. Today I want to show you your, your lost areas. Now let's move on. Beloved, I want you to know that the devil does not have the power to know what you conceive in your mind. What he does most times is to pay attention to the signs you use words and body language to reveal. The devil does not know your in-mind weakness. He doesn't know it. But he will look at your body language. There was a time like that. We were having prayer meeting in church. And I said, that was the last day I told people to join their hands. And I said, everybody join your hands with your neighbor and let us pray. And we joined our hands. After the prayer, one brother came to me. He said, Papa. I said, what is it? He said, when you say we should join our hands. It was a sister that was with me. I joined my hands. Daddy, I didn't pray. Oh. I said, then what were you doing? He said, I was dying. I said, dying with what? He said, sir, my body was moving. It's like I should have sex with the sister inside the prayer meeting. Ah, I said, brother, it shows you something. Something is wrong. It shows you that you have not conquered loss of the flesh. Do you know that, as I'm talking to you now, that brother has backslidden. She is just impregnating ladies. The devil does not know what you have in mind. But the devil knows how to study you to see what your words is revealing and what your body language is showing. Some people, when they see money, they lose, they lose their senses. They can't control their body again. That's why our temptations will be different from each other. Am I communicating? Let's go on. Hallelujah. Say I hear. What he does most times, like I said, is to pay attention to the signs. You, you use your words and body language to reveal the devil sets a temptation for David. Look at David's case. In the area of women, because of what he noticed in the way King David behaved when he sees women. Anywhere David sees women, he's no longer comfortable. And what the, where the devil put his temptation? He put it around women. He sees, well, sorry, he sees women when, when he sees women. The devil also set a temptation trap for Gehazi around material things because of the greed that his attitude reveals. That was how he caught Gehazi. Because you know that Gehazi didn't like women. In his own case, he was not a womanizer. But the problem of Gehazi is, ah-ah, ah-ah. But this particular day, the devil said, eh, I've got him where to get this man. He now set a trap. There was a Naaman that was coming with a cursed gift. The gift of Naaman and the problem of Naaman was together. Now, and Gehazi went to lie. Ah, you see, Oga said I should collect gift. He collected gift and collected the leprosy of Naaman at the same time. Is somebody hearing me? Say, I hear. This is why you should pay attention to your weak. I call it lost, to your lost. In order to work on how to conquer it completely. As a child of God, pay attention to your life. Pay attention to your weak areas. To the area you yourself know. You know, some people even boast about it. Because 
You don't brag about your weakness. You work on how to conquer it. Some will say, Oh, no, 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 that's where the devil wait for you. Some of you are saying, ah, Papa, you hey, understand. Ah, Moshe, why? Along come up, me phone Jesse, he cannot be bad. I'm sure. He cannot lose that temptation. I see. That's why, as a child of God, you must understand. You know why children of God fall into temptation? They fall because they don't know how to conquer their weak areas. I say again, this is why you should pay attention to the weak areas of your life in order to work on how to conquer it. Now, I put it in brackets. Your lost, your weak area is anything you seem to have a strong, consistent desire for. Now, when they say lost of the flesh, lost, anything you have a consistent desire on, it's like the, your desire for that thing is too strong. That is the area you need to work on yourself so that the devil will not succeed to bring you down. Hallelujah. I will say, Pay proper attention to yourself so as to discover areas you should work on before the devil discovers it first. You know, some of you, you know how to discover other people's weak area. Cherry, only go go. Would like my Lulugan, Adiyemi, me? Would like my Reni, ah, Baboni Shekere, ah, Unilo Wogan, Oshiwa Jete, Telubele, whoa. Pay attention to yourself. That's one problem with so many people. They don't look, they don't know even the, they don't know the areas of their weakness. I know mine. And I'm working on mine too. You should know yours. So that when the devil comes in that area, go search scriptures. All the people that fell to temptation, it was from their weakness. How did the devil get Cain? Cain was an angry man. In Fufuni. In fact, the Lord even spoke to him that Cain, sin is knocking at your door. Master it. Or else, it will have you. But he didn't agree. Ah, no. He was angry. Ah, ah. Why should my brother give God gifts to collect it? And God, God did not take my own. I will not agree. Now, the same thing with Lot, uh, 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 Saul. You know, Saul, his own was jealousy. The moment the, the women started to sing, David has killed 10,000. The Bible says he kept a jealous eye. He no longer paid attention on himself. He was focusing on David. Have you discovered your weak areas? If you don't discover it, that's where the devil will set temptation for you. Because the devil knows that if he puts your temptation around your strong area, you will defeat him. Hands down. So, don't see any weakness. Don't glory in any weakness. So I hear some people say, Balon, she did me now. A lot more could any fool for me. But she conquer it before it puts you in trouble. Conquer it before it puts you in trouble. So let's now go deeper. How can you conquer your weak areas as a child of God? How can you conquer your weak area as a child of God? Some of you have not even fallen at all. Some of you too. There is this strong craving in your heart for sex. And you know that you are not married. So if you are married, there is this craving. You just want to have sex with somebody that is not your partner. It's a weak area that you need to conquer. So if you have this strong craving for more money, there's nothing bad in wanting more money, but you just want to get it at all means. And you yourself know that, ah, this is a weakness, oh. This is a weakness, oh. If, listen, you have to conquer it before the devil gets to use it against you. Did somebody hear me? You have to conquer it. So let's look at, I will tell you five in this service. How can you conquer your area of weakness as a child of God? Number one, the first thing I believe should be done is for you to discover those areas of weakness first. Because... There is no how you can conquer an enemy you have not discovered. Now, what will be the first thing? Why not look within? Go on what I call a self-discovery retreat. Yeah, you know, I told you when I was taking the introduction, 
Don't let the devil know it first. You should be the one to discover. You can't conquer an enemy that you don't know is an enemy. If you enter into a battle and you don't know your enemy, you are defeated already. So the first thing is to discover it. Let's go to the scriptures. 2 Kings chapter 6, 11 and 12. It was a king that opened my eyes with his statement. I read, the Bible says, This enraged the king of Aram. He summoned his officers, 2 Kings 6, 11 and 12, and demanded of them, and demanded of them, and demanded, therefore the heart of the king of Syria was greatly troubled by this thing. And he called his servants and said to them, Will you now show me, will you not show me, which of us is the king, is, uh, is for the king of Israel? Talon, talon to Milashiri. Who is of the king of Israel? Who is not for me? Show me the next verse. Who is not for me among us? We are doing meeting together. But somebody is always going to tell the king of Israel my secret. Because how does he know my secret? And somebody said, and one of the servants said, None, sir, my lord, O king, but Elisha the prophet, who is in Israel, tells the king of Israel the words that you speak where? In your bedroom. Have you discovered who your, who your enemy is? I'm not talking of a person now. I'm talking about, about a nature in you. Have you discovered it? Or else, that's what the devil will use to, to, to set temptation for you. You know, I was telling you about that person, a worker in a church. I told you I had covetousness. You know how the devil came? He came with a young guy. They were doing the same business together. Now, when they now do this business and make profit, this guy will give her her own share and give her something extra. The guy will now go and buy more uh, 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 chivita and meat pie, hot one. While she, would, she was busy eating chivita and, I mean, eating meat pie and taking chivita. Beloved, she didn't, her heart was just slipping away from her husband gradually. Until one day she came up and told me, Papa, I want to see you. I said, what is that? He said, I don't want to marry my husband again. I said, why? He says, sir, this suffering is too much. Ah, I said, you have been suffering. It's not a matter of 12 years. In fact, your suffering has even changed now. When the suffering was in the hell level, you know there's suffering of hell fire level. You didn't say you don't want to marry. Now your suffering is at the AC level. You soon get to snow level. Ah, why is it now? He said, nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. So we started finding out. One night, the husband came, called me, Papa, are you in the house? I said, yes. He stole the wife's phone and brought it to me. And when I started scrolling, I was looking at all the love messages. That this sister, married woman, with three children, was chatting with the business friend. The husband said, no wonder. I got to a shop one day. I saw her hand, the man's hand, at the back of my wife like this. And I came out. I said, ah, my wife, what is his hand doing on your back? I touched you like this yesterday. Is it my own hand? His hand. Is it his own hand that is soft? <laughs> As I'm talking to you now, that marriage has crashed. She packed out of the house. Followed the man. With what? Chivita, hot pie, and little profits. Look at where the devil capitalized on. Have you discovered yours? You know we are laughing about how now she has fallen. But some of you, the devil is still studying you. I have seen people who after they've committed crime, they will come down and say, Papa, I don't know what happened. Me, mobi no shebi me Listen, what's my first point again? Discover your area of weakness. And I wrote here, how can you discover your, your area of weakness? Beloved, there are three things you can do to discover your area of weakness. Number one, be truthful to yourself Ask you, ask yourself what your actual craving is. 
Be truthful to yourself. That's the first thing. Ask yourself sincerely and answer yourself sincerely. Pastor Prince will kill Lori Lee Ask yourself, be sincere to yourself. Mark Parof, if everybody lies to you, don't lie to yourself. That's the, fault, that's the foundation. Because it may not be people that will discover it for you first. It may be you. Let's look at number two. Second ways by which you can discover your area of loss. Okay, we are still in number one. I said be truthful to yourself and ask yourself what you're craving, what you, you actually crave for. Is it for more money? Is it for fame? Is it for sex? Is it for power? Is it for position? Is it for attention? At this stage, you have to be sincere with yourself. Be sincere with what do you actually want? Have you asked yourself? Two. How do I discover? Pay attention to what the Holy Spirit revealed to you, either directly or indirectly. Pay attention. At times, the Holy Ghost will purposely reveal you to you in some areas. At times, he will send some people, the Holy Ghost will put message in somebody's heart for you. Hey, brother, a man be no gone. Ah, ah. Hey, brother, a man be no gone. Hey, brother, a man be no gone. Brother, a man be no gone. Pay attention to what the Holy Ghost has to say. The Holy Spirit is saying something. We have a Spirit of God that will never leave us to ourselves. He will not just leave us to be destroyed. And the last one. See here now. Pay attention to the voice of people. What are people actually saying about you? The voice of humans. What are they actually saying? Everybody is telling you, ah, sister, hey, Moroso, sister, you don't know how to talk. Sister, you don't know how to talk. You are saying, what can shatter me in last song? That's actually who you are. People are looking at you and everyone, almost everybody, it's not that they went to team up with themselves. Almost everybody is saying to me, to you, oh, my, hey, my long, oh, brother, hey, my long gone. You relate with this one, he said, hey, my long gone. You relate to the other one, hey, my wicked gone. You relate to the other one, hey, my like you, Bini. You relate to that one, ah, auntie, oh, gao. And you're saying, I'm a dagger going alone. I'm going to suck us on it. I'm going to suck us on it. I want to come here to get the Holy Spirit to buy us a suffering. Oh, my fish here, no, kete, kete, latte, suffering. It was the donkey of Balaam that spoke to him now. Pay attention. Because, you know what I'm telling you this? If you don't discover it, you won't work on it. And the devil will continue to build this trap. Build this trap. I have seen Christians who have served God 30 years for a dime in it. One of the men I used to listen to many years ago said something. He said, sir, the things that make people to fall from the top down did not jump to go and meet them at the top. He followed them in them as they were going up. He said, the things Do you think in this Nigeria, every, anybody will ever forget the generation of Buari? No, let's be sincere. Nobody, in fact, if, by the time we are going, our generation is going, I'll be telling my children, if you hear Boo, don't wait for Harry before you. Don't vote for them. What you see him manifesting now has been in him before. And when he, you know, when he was campaigning, some people said it too. That you don't know this man. You people don't know this man. You people don't know this man. Let me not talk too much. I'm online. So our DSS will not visit me tomorrow. And if they come, all of you that are saying yes, I will not come and bail me. So let's, let me preach on. Uh, what church in me on this street? Pay attention to what they are saying. Yes, you say, don't listen to people, what people are saying. I always tell you, uh, an English proverb said, in the, uh, and the element of rumor, so how do you say there's element of truth in every rumor? Pay attention. Everybody is saying this about me. Can it be true? 
So what's the first thing to do to conquer your weakness? Discover it. And I've told you how to discover. Number two, how to conquer your area of weakness. Number two, enrich your mind with the word of God properly for a change in your mindset. Enrich your mind with the word of God properly for a change in your mindset. Why? Real change begins from within. Begin to read the Bible. Study more. You know why? To enrich your mind. So that your thinking will change. Because the change that you are praying about, the change that you are working on, does not begin from outside. Real change begins from your heart. Beloved, I have seen some ministers of God, I'm telling you two life story, eh? fell to love of money. He fell to love of money. Some, they are looking for fame. But you know, the more you study, the more your understanding will change. The more you study, the more your reasoning will change. Even if your body wants to do what is wrong, your mind will tell you this is wrong. It's your mind, hear me. It's your mind that controls every aspect of your life. So if something is wrong from your mind, forget it. Something will be wrong from all around you. My daughter was sharing something with us. She went for a, a lesson. And anytime they want to do uh, a CRK, he said their CRK teacher will come and keep saying, you should not go to church, so you should not like pastors at 419. She was always criticizing pastors. Now, when she came home and told us, we made some findings and we told her, the same thing my wife told her was what I told her, that this lady must have been duped by a pastor before. And because she has been duped by a pastor before, she now believes that all pastors are 419. So before you can help such a person, she has to go back to Bible study. Only me, most man's of me, a Bible study in Sherry. It will change your mindset. Anything your flesh wants to do that is wrong, the Bible you have within you will show you it is wrong. Say I hear now. How do I know this? Matthew chapter 12, verse 35. It says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Look at Matthew chapter 12, 35. It says, a good man, out of the good treasures of his heart, bring forth what? Good things. An evil man, out of the evil treasures, bring forth what? Evil things. If there is evil in your mind, you can't do good. But if there is good in your mind, you can't do evil. Is somebody communicating? So the word of God is the good trail that influences your mind to think good and think right. And right, right thoughts. It triggers your conscience when you want to allow sinful thoughts. That's why I would recommend that you become really committed to personal Bible study for you to conquer those natures. Can we go to number three? I didn't hear you. Are you sure you are learning anything? Number three, how can you conquer your area of weaknesses? Number three, seek for help, both from God and man. Seek for help. You know, the help you seek from God is when you pray. The help you seek from man is when you go for counseling. I was listening to Pastor Matthew Ashimolo a few days ago. I told you I bought those CDs about 15 years ago. So I was listening to it again. Now, he said he was trying to settle one crisis between one husband and wife. He couldn't settle it. And what was the crisis? The husband was not, never interested in coming to have sex with his wife. The, it was during counseling they now discovered that the man was masturbating right from his childhood age. That or Dorothy masturbate. So he didn't have need for woman. He only married the woman because people said he's of age. So they now need to start counseling him on how to stop masturbation. There are some battles that prayer cannot help you to overcome. There are some battles that you need counseling 
You need somebody to put you through one, two, three, four, five steps to conquer it. It's just like you are praying over the love of money. Papi Pastor, ko ye mi, moti ni ya won le, I have wife at home, bo, timba sha, tira won birin sha, arami o lele. Pastor, what do I, you need counseling, you don't only need prayers. Now, and you know the problem is this, the devil is making so many Christians feel, that ah, 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 timba lo sofun pastor, wama fi me preach. Excuse me sir, mufesor o konkon mbi. Look up, look up. How do we win cases in court? A lawyer, we had one case in court many years ago. The lawyer came up. It was documented. 1976. Affair Babalola versus so so and so. No, no, it was not affair. Affair was a lawyer, but the case was between Commissioner of Police versus they mentioned the name in the law act. And when they quoted the law and the person's case, the chief, uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, I think. It's, it's an appeal court judge. Uh, the magistrate, not a chief registrar, magistrate. The magistrate now said, you know what? Give me the law, uh, law act. He gave him. The man wrote it down. The lawyer, the uh, magistrate went to read it. He gave a judgment. Igbatoma gave judgment only according to law book act of 1976 in a case between so so and so. And the, uh, and the government. After Babala, Babala was a lawyer. He quoted this particular law and he won the case. Based on this law that this lawyer has quoted, I therefore dis- de- declare that his client is hereby discharged and acquainted. The law court won Daru Koyin. The pastor ban preach kusha Daru Koyin. He won't make sure you tell to go as if you pastor. Turn on the pastor phone. And you mean lack of that? You will share experience in here. And you mean you born with. Somebody is in that problem. You don't know that people have peculiar problems. Problem hello me, oh Jora So when the pastor is preaching, he may share that experience. If I have shared several experiences that some of you have shared with me, and after service, some people have come to see me. That's a orote so ye. Unshimi. Unshimi. Sabao le shima help with me now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Are you, are you sure you are learning something at all? So stop getting offended. Stop getting offended. Ask the, the, the doctor. Doctor will tell you, I handle one case. I handle one case. Who fed your case in here? In fact, you bend it to my doctor friend. That's a case. That's a Tony case. I buy any more she pass up. Ah, who didn't work for any yo? A yakin she phone no. Who didn't work? Eh, the Binusi doctor, Totia, the Pong Bulo, eh? Eh, Binusi lawyer, Abby? Oh, she write your pass up and Binusi. I hear, I usually ask some people say, Am I your keeper, Pamor, only if you're in preach? I can't read it. Ignorance. God may want to use your case for somebody's help. So, you don't know only need prayer. What's number three? Seek for help. Both from God and from men. We seek help from God when we pray and fast for his intervention. We seek help from men when we allow them to use their wealth of experience to guide us on the path of victory. I've shared it with you before now. I've handled three cases or even four. People looking, trusting God for fruit of the womb. That God didn't use prayer to answer. The first one, they came to me, Pastor. I want to move you along for more or your tip. I want to marry several years ago. Kinika wants she buy. And Pastor, I want to lure you, Kirishi Rishi. Ah, to lure you, Kirishi Rishi. Ah, eh, they're lure you, lure you, lure you. I'm on Kajakari doctor. Come on, come on, but Russ will be a fair. Tio Nimini. Tio Doctor Bass, okay, any problem? I will face you alone. And we went to uh, my doctor friend, Bashin Denon and Doctor and Daddy. Ah, Pastor, check out the moment you are in. Once you married so and so years ago, 
won ti bi mo ah doctor ene o le njade okay auntie she le fun mi ni extra whatever kini for last month and e fun one date upper month e fun one date doctor e ko she mathematical working oni auntie ejo e ya to ko yin elomit la rin ojo merin yi the boy's name is williams this today williams is in secondary school now yeah without using any drug imagine kono mu tin gba grass olo mi ni ri pastor the second one too she came papa i don't understand what is wrong with me eh i'm not even preg i can't get pregnant you can't get pregnant how come okay before we begin to pray can we see a doctor we went the doctor gave her a sachet of drug it was family planning sachet of drug to help her correct her, her menstrual flow and told her so, so by the time you finish that drug so, so and so today meet your husband the girl is idara today she's 14 years old Imagine, let her not come for counseling. She will just die praying. Some of you are just praying. You, don't con you can't conquer your weakness by praying alone. Hello, me and the pastor. I have a problem with me. Only if she lives similar on you. My, hello, me be tap on it. I tend to be the information. I tend to be. My gosh, I'm a daddy. Pastor, I'm a me. I'm a daddy. I'm a daddy. I'm a daddy. Yeah. I want, you know, some people have that kind, of, that kind of problem. We counsel you. We show you when it should get to a point in your talking, then you, with, you, you, withdraw, you withdraw. 90% of Christians need counseling, not prayer. But the problem is this they believe they are matured enough. I'm of, I'm of age. Multiple church, me need come and cancel. I want new babies. Don't cancel. Who told you that? You don't know that the deeper you are in Christ, the bigger the challenge. Am I communicating? It is important that both God and man do not. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Beloved, it is important you understand that both God and man should intrude. Uh, sorry, do not intrude. They come only when they are invited. Beloved, the devil will not want you to invite them to help you because he knows that sin draws his power from secrets. What's this, the strength of sin? Secrets ni ashiri oni wangpe ni agbara eshe. Ah, esa, le yi ya wumi mu ni girlfriend wek ba mi. Ba o le she ma help me. We handled one case like that now. The man said, Daddy, who ye me? A bambaya woman saw. Too bad I lebay to my first woman. I don't feel me, Miller. Who no be in Kondewa? Who mobi a cooking she in country? Twenty four seven, Nimo Mankpe. Bimo Pilalo, Madame Lo. Bimo Piloso, Madame Lo. Bimo Pilaro, Madame Lo. Said Yahweh, they want Yahweh, go home, Busser, in law. Yahweh, I face a swear, any girlfriend, and she be to pass to a non motor son sing. And we settled it. Sir, here. The devil wants you to keep it secret so that you continue to grow in that error till it brings you down. And let's rush. We have two more because of time. Number four. There is no how you can conquer your loss, your weak areas, if you do not make up your mind to apply the principle of self discipline. There is no how you can conquer your weak areas if you do not make up your mind to apply the principle of what? Self-discipline. That's number four. You have to know how to say no. Self-discipline is knowing how to restrict yourself from doing what he loves to do when you know that that thing is not right. Esa, you can't conquer your weakness if you don't have it. And self-discipline self is not a gift. It's a choice. No, it's not a, it's not a gift. It's a choice. So, of you, where you, you are, while you are working, you are privileged to cash. You see money. But it's self-discipline that makes you not to touch it because it's not yours. Yes, your body wants to be moved. Ah, with that, it's self discipline. I say, no, 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 no. It's not your wife. 
So you need self discipline. You need to know how to tell yourself. Obeni. Green bottle in Marco Bell. Know how to tell yourself. Stop it. Obeni. Ibinu in Marco Bell. Know how to stop yourself. Without it, forget. You can't conquer your area of weakness. The power of self discipline is when you take upon yourself the responsibility to say no to what will destroy you and you enforce yourself to do according to your decision. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. Let's be fast because of our time. Give me extra 10 minutes, please. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. 1 Corinthians 6, 12. Put that one on screen. Fast, fast. I don't have all the time. You know, this coming Sunday is Family Sunday. We are, we are not talking on temptation this Sunday. The next one will be next, next month. He said, look at this. This is Paul. He said, all things are what? Are lawful for me. But all things are not helpful. Can you see? All things are lawful. But not all are helpful. All things are lawful for me. But I will not be brought under the power of any. I won't let any of them control me. Book by Luda. But not all brings benefit. Now show me NIV version. NIV version. Life in You know we've been looking for this scripture for long. Ah, titeri. Because NIV lafi lafi group belue. NIV knows okay. Everything is permissible for me. But not everything is beneficial. It's permissible, but it does not bring benefit. Everything is permissible for me. But I will not be mastered. Can you see? By any, which means that you can say no. Reverend Mrs. Olushile of David's family talked about a woman that went to a man. He said, sir, my husband used to beat me. My husband used to beat me, please. Do charm for me that will make my husband not to beat me again. He said the man looked at him, opened the calabash, and took three white stones and gave it to the woman. He said, with these stones, your husband will not beat you again. The man said, what do I do? He said, put one. On, once your husband comes into the house, put one under your tongue. Ah. Put one by this side, left cheek. If you consider. Put another one by the right cheek. The man said, see, the abomination is this. If this stone should fall on the floor, you will die. You will die. You will die. You will die. You die. You will die. You will die. You will ba she went to the kitchen, brought the food, and put on the table. The husband said, look at you. You brought food. Useless girl. Cannot even use your senses. You didn't put water. She wanted to talk. She remembered that the stone, if she fall down, she would die. So she was like that for three days. She did not have quarrel with her husband. The husband did not beat her. So she went back to the abalis the third day. Baba, Baba, Okuta yin shishe o. Ah! Your stone walk. For three days, my husband did not beat me. The Baba laughed. He said, see those stones? I picked it from the road. I washed it. There's nothing in the stone. Ah, the woman now says, sir, why did you say if you fall down? He said, that's the only reason way I can use to control your mouth. The only reason why your husband is beating you, can I tell you, sister, is your mouth. So for three days, you have controlled your mouth. Can you see? The power of self-control. Show me from the NLT, uh, NIV uh, Message Bible. Quickly, let's take that one. Message Bible. Message Bible. Message Bible. Holy Spirit. Let's read this. It says, just because something is technically legal does not mean it is spiritually appropriate. Can you see? If I went around doing whatsoever I thought I could get by with, I did be a slave to my wings. Now, what is that saying? Control yourself. You have the power to do it. You know that you are weak in that area. Be that area, begin to, to put restriction on that area. I won't allow myself to fall in this area again. Now, the final one, because of time, number, number five, the last one. 
Now, the last one you must listen. To conquer your area of weakness, discover what feeds your weakness. What feeds your weakness? Feed. W-E-E-D-S. Your weakness and cut it off. Else, you'll be fighting a loose battle. Now, what does that mean? There's something that is feeding your weakness. You want to need, sir, and me be no bamija. Kilungbo, Yorubani, T, a Tio bag, boy, you think. Kilungele, Inuki, bad there. Boy, you man, 30 years, sick boy, so ye, Ninushin beer. It means that it is the, that, that gossip that is feeding that anger that is aggravating it. He was only so I do understand. I do understand. Talk coming back to Wally by you know a shaman man be me. Boy, Oti wo Oti wo our Hollywood film, Oti wo Ju. Maybe you have some friends that you are looking at their husband. Find out what is that thing feeding my lust. A young lady came to see me. He said, Sir, I do understand. My husband doesn't satisfy me. No matter how he makes love with me, I will still go and buy a uh, 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 cucumber. I will go and lock myself up and I'll commit, I will be committing. Married woman. I allowed her to land. She talked with me for like two hours. After she finished talking with me, I said, Give me your phone. She brought her phone. I said, How many porn movies do you have on this phone? Ah, he said, Sir, it's very plenty. I said, that is what is feeding your lust. You have to block all the things feeding your weakness. Aggravating it. Block those things. So if you are saying, sir, I don't understand why I cannot say no to all those guys that are sponsoring me. Some of you, the reason why you are running around for money is because you have turned yourself to the donkey of the family. Which is already the kete family. Sing, you will not mark me. Oh, the salary. What jale? Mommy pay, daddy pay, uncle pay. So to to fun one twenty five thousand. Ni mungba lo shoe. Timba yowo moto me. Mommy kukun kongo. Ya ya tosi pe kimi fun five thousand. Kimi lozu. I want yoku kimi mama manage for that month. Mi ulifu in anything more. Be 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 sincere. Or else, see, you won't stop running so. Am I communicating? Yes, it's the truth. Something is feeding it. If you don't block what is feeding it, you can't stop. So if you know what is feeding your own, you want to, you are trying to live larger than your income. You want to impress. See, I don't have friends eh, that are higher than my level. Friends that cannot appreciate what I'm wearing, me only one. Because there are some kind of friends you choose. You'll be running the race you are not supposed to run. Yeah. Uh, George Uamani's Sunday. Uh, Alberto Perez Sunday. Uh, Gusi Sunday. What is feeding your lust? Have you discovered it? If you don't discover it, you can't kill it. Or else, that thing will still continue. So here I say, so I don't understand why I cannot control my sexual life. If you are watching porn and you are not married, you will be nursing the urge to want to practice what you have watched. This one that we are quiet. Ah, ah, kilo de. Okay, the enter. Okay. Let it enter. So that you can kill it once and for all. You know, next month we are going to another dimension. I've not answered the question why so many Christians are falling. This is just one of the face of the answer. There's another one I want to show you from next week. Ah, from uh, Upper Sunday. This coming Sunday is Family Sunday. Find out. I wrote here, discover it so that you can kill it. Every loss, every weakness that people nurse is being fed by something. Something is feeding it. Look at when we there was a time we have crisis in this church. Oh, every time we are in church, our pray alone for mobile image. Hawa, ewo, he can't kuru o kuru gan. Igbata fadua le, owa da big batu yake atalaya ku iluwa toro. Eh, 
Acho mo bini kukuru in lunda church ilu. Ikeji ega. Dey we dey we miss that Peter our message. Miss that Peter. Maybe mama is just sucking on her own. Dey we can't begin to tell people. Mama so bad in Ah, tabari in country mama so. Sincerely speaking, can I tell you the truth? We don't have time. The 24 hours that we have is not enough for us. We don't have time. That we now sit down and be discussing with somebody. We don't have the time. She has about 60 students in uh, Elebu. Me, I have about uh, almost uh, 29. Going to 30 students at Liberty. Uh, at Elebu, she has 16 in Elebu. And parents will be calling, um, okay, mommy, kill my shilori, okay, mommy, kill my... If I call you, I will choose HM. I will not choose HM. I will not choose HM. I will not choose HM. We don't have time. He said, "What for?" He bade on Ashiwa. I did put a court. I did go. Not knowing that I will move in image. These two get ladies, they were the ones spreading evil report. Want here care? Want here help? Want here shiba? Want here shawo? And people will be getting angry, reacting. So if you don't find what's feeding your lust, see, you won't conquer that nature. You know, some of you, you, you have master degree in lying. There's something that is making you to lie. And what is that? You are living a fake life. Find out why you are trying to live a fake life. And ask yourself, why? Oh, Tony. And to law, see junction liberty to law party. A to loss it junction liberty in sale to Laura Frozen. A to loss to smoke yado to write tending chicken on your day. Satma on a tumba waluya to any. He can call only colony. He can't see in yellow timu. He can't even look back for now. Chicken on your day. Don't lie about your level again. Rise up, let's close. I see that you are not clapping. You are angry today. So did you learn something today? Yeah. That's why I learned to tell yourself truth. Now, listen. Eto shekini. Eto la reti. I want to feel kumpe. Eto to lola kum koloni mo lete. Chicken no look bad yet. Chicken no ni. You know I remember one Christmas like that. I want young being condo for me. Beni kongi logbi adiyo se mefa wa. Otu waje bile. So much yeti. Ah Papa, Merry Christmas. I say wait. She for me ladi yes. Ni abe for me ladi yes. But whether I like it or not, I did not lose for me. In fact, me bumped that year. I truly love the good news, but I will See, find out. Are you hearing me? This last one, very important. What is that thing feeding that area of weakness? What is that thing? Is it a friend that you have just met? And the friend is telling you, by now, you should, you should be a big girl now. You should have a guy. And you, how old are you? And you know, we don't do relationship by age again. I don't know whether you know. Hello, sisters. We don't do relationship by age again. You know how we do relationship now? We do re- relationship by achievement. Because brother, to fact, we are still in mama okay. Kini kill any in bebo to fe wa fe add si aye mi iwo sister na ko to so yes brother yen wa wo pe se ni yo ni je minus you know there are some brothers that we enter your life it's like your tire flat tire on broken bottle that's why it's not by age don't let someone say you are 18 now that you are 18 those of you threatening your parents mommy when i'm 18 at least i will be free you are not free you just started bondage Oh, she's a 
Igba hen kon la ma be sini show egidi. Because that's the most dangerous aspect of life. Making a choice. But you don't need it. You must have achieved, get to some points in your life that even a beggar will be afraid to come around. I was angry in my spirit, but thank God now the fire in my spirit has been released. Do you have anybody coming for the first time before I pray for you?